This is where it means the zombies mean. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Katie Taylor. She was scheduled to fight Amanda Serrano, but it looks like that fight is not happening. But Eddie Hearn believes he has a replacement, and that replacement is Delphine Persoon. And if you recall, they fought, and it was a very close majority decision for Katie Teller, one in which many people believe that Persoon actually won. I'm going to share this screen. And basically, here's a quote from Eddie Hearn. He says, I like the Def the Def Delphine Pursuit fight. Uh, Eddie Hearn, Taylor's, uh, Taylor's promoter and managing director of Matchroom Boxing, revealed in a recent interview with IFL, we've made three offers to Delphine, Delphine Pursuit. It's close. It's close. So basically, what he's saying is, although the Amanda Serrano fight may not happen, They'll find per soon, may step in, and we may get that rematch. Trill, what's your thoughts on that? I was asking for the rematch after the first fight. Mm -hmm. I was like, they got to do it back. I don't want to hear about them fighting nobody else. Katie Taylor, she has to run that back with this young lady. I don't know. Um, it was weird. It was weird watching that fight. I was like, maybe the other young lady uh, pulled it off. The reason why I don't like this fight <clears throat> It's because I think that um, this lady was probably chilling. She was probably chilling, sitting around, not uh, 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 with this with everything that's going on. Maybe she didn't have the the proper time as much as a uh, uh, Katie did to prepare because they was that's uh, the man of Serrano's fight was supposed to take place. Um, that's the only way I can see if they're just gonna throw her in there on that date because they want to have a fight. I don't think that's cool because I don't think that gives this young lady the the proper time to uh, prepare. Because um, I don't want no excuses. I don't want no excuses. The first fight was so good. I don't want no excuses to be because of the second fight. Like, oh, she only had three weeks to train. That's why this fight. That's why Katie washed her this time. You know, I don't want no excuses. I don't want no excuses at all. So um, I'm a little, I'm up in the air. I'm like 50-50. I'm excited because I wanted to see this rematch, but that should have been the fight that took place next. Mm. To G. me. G. Oh, um, I actually do want to see this fight. So uh, when I seen it, I'm trying to remember, but I knew it, it was close. It. it was like real close. It's like, it, it was one of those, like, it was a toss-up, right? Like, if you had Katie winning, you had Pursuit winning, it's like, it's whatever, right? Personally, I think it should just be a draw, right? However, the run back, I want to see. And this is the reason really why I want to see it is because I didn't feel, all right. My issue with Katie Taylor's style is he ma she makes no adjustments mid-fight, right? Pursuit was catching up with, like, a lot mm -hmm. of shots. And then Katie would just resort back to this like one two one two combo, and just kept getting hit, kept getting hit with the same, uh, like the approach that she was doing. And to me, it's kind of like, all right, I need to see this run back because I want to know can you make the necessary adjustments to beat this girl. And if Pursuit is, let's just say, what Trill's right, like maybe she's inactive right now, she was just chilling, and then she got the call. This is probably the best time for Katie to to get that W. So it works out in Katie's favor. If, if Katie still can't take her out and it's the same, uh, uh, it's like a duplicate of part one, then it makes you wonder like how, how dominant really is Katie or should we consider uh person as that woman right now, you know? And so that's why I'm looking at it as I need to see this rematch. This would be a, a great fight in replacement of the uh, Amanda fight. So yeah, I'm all for it. Ned, I was trying to remember the fight, but that that was the undercard on the um, Joshua Ruiz one fight. And when I saw her fight, um, Pursuun, I th thought I thought Pursuun actually won. I thought they gave it to Katie just just because she was the champion and to keep her image. Thank you, but, thank you, Ned. So, but go ahead, Ned. So, <laughs> so I feel you, Ned. I felt the same way. Katie, if, if, Katie really wants to get back in for a second round. It might be it might be a dangerous fight for Katie the second time, because Pursuit might feel that there's some black blood and she was cheated out of a win. Because it, it didn't look good the first fight. The first fight didn't look good for Katie. So, 
But I'm I'm happy to see it. I'm ready. Oh, it was a close fight. I think to me it was one of those fights where I said it before, man. Sometimes you just gotta give it to the A side. It was one of those fights where Katie's the A side, it was close. It could go either way. Um and A side wins. <laughs> You know, Ty goes to the run. <laughs> Ty goes to the A side. Um Dale gets it. Dale gets it. <laughs> basically, um, yeah. Because it was one of those it was one of those fights where every round there was work that you could highlight from both sides. Oh, exactly. I could make an argument for the majority of the rounds that, you know, give there were some rarely was there a round that was clean. You could score it for one or the other. I can make, I can, I can watch the the fight in a light most favorable to pursue, and then I could score seven rounds for pursue. I can write, I can watch the fight in a light most favorable to Katie Taylor, and I can score seven rounds. I watched that fight as a Katie Taylor fan, and I still had it that the other girl had seven rounds. Well, once again, you're true. <laughs> I, I, I watched it. This Kaden, was hitting her with clear shots, straight down the middle. Katie was throwing wide shots. She was just coming forward, just taking this punishment. This lady, I think maybe we all need to watch this fight again because it's been a long time. It's been a while. Um, you know what I'm saying? Watch this fight again. I think Katie Taylor got a gift. That's my perspective. I think Katie got a gift. And I think that this is a good time if they want to go and get this young lady because if she hasn't been um, active and she hasn't been doing nothing, this is a good way for Katie to stay faced and beat this girl's butt because she hasn't been in their training. But I think that fight should have happened the next fight over. I just think they shouldn't have been thinking about fighting nobody else but getting this girl this run back. I think if you watch that fight again, Katie Taylor fought. You see her face. It was a good, we all, we can agree to disagree, but I had that girl winning, and I think that she got robbed. So reclaiming my time. And, and again, no, 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 but if you go back and watch this video, mine was cut and you went to G when I was breaking it down, but I just let it roll. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. I waited for, for my name to be called. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, either way, like I said, for me, Speaking for myself, mm -hmm. I could watch the fight and score seven rounds for Katie Taylor. If I'm watching the light most favorable to Katie Taylor, I can watch the fight and score seven rounds for Pursuit if I'm watching the light most favorable to Pursuit. And not to be that person, but I think Trill is on camera saying Katie Taylor won the fight after oh. we when we when we met up. So it ain't so Trill. It ain't so interesting to hear Trill it so. say that it ain't Pursuit so. won. When we go with body, when Trill was trying to convince us that Katie Taylor clearly won the fight, so maybe some people just aren't as convinced as they <laughs> once seen before. Like Yo, Trill, I hope this ain't true, man. Nah, I believe you, Trill. It ain't true. <laughs> I I end up going back and just watching the fight, and I said this lady was robbed. Oh, <laughs> all right. So you're saying after we done did the review of the fight. You, so when we did the review again, of the fight, like, yeah. you weren't saying Katie Taylor won the fight. What'd you say? When we did the review of the fight, immediately after the fight, you didn't say Katie Taylor won the fight. You got to check. You got to check it. I probably did say she probably, the they probably gave it to the right person. Bring the clip. <laughs> bring, the, bring the clip back. I probably <laughs> said that she got a gift. All right. Pull the receipts. All right, hold on. Yeah. Get the receipts. Pull receipts. Pull up receipts. That's why I love the fact that we do this on camera. <laughs> Get the receipts. Yo, and that what I should back trip. You, didn't say, you didn't say it. You had you had pursuing winning, bro. I remember. Yeah. I have your back. You know what I mean? Watch you your back. We all together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, I, don't I, know. I, I remember he was going hard for Katie Taylor. Yeah. I remember him going hard for Katie Taylor. I remember him going hard for Katie Taylor. I remember going hard for Katie Taylor. Why did I remember before the fight? Before the, yeah, fight, before the fight, before he was the going fight hard. reactions, After, we were like, nah, man. Nah, before the fight reactions, oh. I was going hard for Katie Taylor. That's why we do it on camera. We I got your back, out. Trill. Trill, right. Before the, when we did the fight reactions, I said she was going to win. Let's go. Strong now, we all Let's said go. she was going to win, so nobody, nobody will hold that against you. But after the fight, you were like, Katie Taylor pulled it out. That's what you said. Yeah, she... 
Yeah, she she got she got lucky with the with the W. That's I said she got saying. lucky. Yeah, but that's that girl what didn't work. Exactly. I remember the receipts. I remember <laughs> Trill. Who the receipts? They're trying to play my man's out play. here in these streets. We got we got a lot more videos than we think. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as easy. To nah, you just just to, um just on a search, just type in her name, Katie Taylor, or something, and it should pop up. Trying to do you wrong, Trill. Man, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it's still not coming up. Did we do it as like part of multiple? Man, did we? Listen, it's not gonna come up because it yeah, didn't happen. It ain't happen. Because it, it ain't happen. happen. It ain't gonna come up. It ain't come happen. Up. It's not gonna come up because Trill deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nobody's been able to find receipts on me yet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Women been trying for millions of years. You know what I'm and if they can't do it, by <laughs> golly, Katie, you ain't going to do it. <laughs> you know what? I, I, it's not even that big of a deal. I just, when I recall it in my head, I think you were uh, you were going hard for it. Yeah, I was no going head, hard it was for hard. the reaction. Before the fight happened, I was going hard for Katie Taylor. I was going hard. I was saying that she is the next star. I was going, people was looking at me like I was crazy. I was saying I love her story, blah, 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 her being an Olympian, all that. Mm, exactly. Facts. Before the fight. Facts. Mm. But if I did say she she got it, that's basically because she got it because of what you said, Kate. And I agree with everything you said, actually, with the part with the A side wins. That's why that's why that's why I feel like she should get it. But either way, getting back to it, the one thing that I will say is I do agree that if Pursuit's not in shape and she hasn't been training, which we all know Katie Taylor's been in camp for Amanda Serrano. We all know that uh, Katie Taylor was preparing for one of the biggest fights of her career. So if she um, is in shape, but Pursuing is not, then people are going to be looking at it like, okay, so she took the fight last minute, and that's the reason why you beat her. But um, if she's in shape, then it's on the up and up. But I do agree that... Um, it's a good fight. It's a fight that I want to see. And I do know that Trill was calling for a rematch at the end of the fight. But I do think he said Katie Taylor won. I'm going to find it. Don't Watch worry your mouth, Katie. He didn't um, say that. I'm going to find and it. Another thing, and another thing is, too, which, is, which is, is, is disheartening. Katie Taylor is really young. And I believe, how low, I'm not, I believe the other young it was a little bit older. So that was another reason why we were but saying. Older. Mm-hmm. About um, I was saying something about the the rematch happening right away. But we all in agreement. This is going to be a good fight. Mm-hmm. I just hope that uh, um, the other young lady gets a chance to train properly before this fight happens. Just don't go in there and grab a bag because, like they said, they've been giving her sitting out three different offers. So hopefully she just doesn't try to grab the bag and is not, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, they sent in three different offers and she's rejecting. So she's rejecting clearly she may not feel ready for the fight, but. True. But hey, the money talk, BS walks. <laughs> so, you know, hey, if the money's right, there'll be a fight. Please like and subscribe. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. And if you can find a receipt yourself, <laughs> tell us how you feel. <laughs> tell us what video it's under. <laughs> tell us what video it is. Because it never happened. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. This is the Boxing Bros. <laughs>